A box of bones. Once upon a time, there was a very famous antique merchant in the region. He had a son named Eris, who was a very good boy and kind, but insensible to the business. These goods are worse than the previous. Why do you import so much of them? Father, this is the goods of our longtime supplier. He said that he was in a difficult time and hoped that I could help him. We're businessmen. We can't help others sell our goods just because of kindness. The disadvantage will be ours. Yes, I understand, Father. I'm sorry. Don't keep saying sorry all the time. You have to keep in mind that we're businessmen, understand? As a businessman, you have to consider things with a cold heart. Do not always put your feelings and emotions on top of everything. Yes, I will do as you say, Father. Even being displeased with his son, the merchant still persisted in training him by letting him take care of a small part of the family's business. These goods are very important. You must be careful in transporting them. I know, please don't worry. Is it good if you can be less sensitive? You keep putting your feelings into the business. You have ruined many of my deals. How can I not worry about you? This time I assign you an important shipment. You absolutely cannot let anything go wrong, do you understand? Yes, I will learn from my mistakes, don't worry. We've traveled all day. The horse probably got tired. Let's take a rest. Yes, young master. Come on, it's so heavy. Why did you throw the chest away? There are bones inside. So what? There are only just bones inside that chest. Keep it for what? Whose bones are these? Where did they come from? How can you throw it away voluntarily? It's not your business. Why are you asking so much? Yes, it's not my business, but don't you feel guilty doing this? Why don't you contact the relatives of this dead man so that they can bury the remains of their loved one? Why are you so chatty? Unlike you, we don't have far too much time on our hands. Get out of our way. Poor him. His remains need to be buried. What are you doing? I want to bury him. Although I do not know who this is or where he came from. This person is dead, so he needs to be rested in peace. Please, let me bury him. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy or what? Are you having so much free time that you have to find something to do? I'm not kidding you guys. I really want to bury these remains. Let me do it, otherwise I will not leave this place. If you want to bury him, you have to pay. Why must I pay for you? You've just thrown him away. We just left them there for a while. Our task is to throw them away to the river. If you want to bury him, pay us. Yeah, let me tell you this. This remains is easy to throw away, but to bury him, it's a bit difficult. If you really want to bury him, you have to pay for it. Say no more. You guys are too much. Do you not feel guilty about the dead? You are making money on the remains of the deceased. <laughs> making money on the remains of the deceased? We can do a lot more horrible things than that. We just need to have money. Nonsense. Young master, leave them. Let's go. No, how can I let them do that to this poor guy? So, I guess we will have to throw this in the river and let it drift away to nowhere. Wait, I'll pay. How much do you want? And so Eris didn't listen to the servant's advice and spent money to buy the remains. Everything that Eris did made his father extremely angry. What? You've used the money to buy this and had no money to buy the goods? I couldn't let them treat him like that, so I used the money to buy and bury him. Oh my god, do you know how much we will lose if you don't buy the goods? I'm sorry, father. 
I was wrong to trust you. I would rather hand this business to a business savvy man than to you, a saboteur. I'm sorry, but please don't be mad at me. I think no one could walk away in that situation. Don't use that dumb excuse to justify your foolishness. No one is like you, spending money, effort, and affecting their own business. Just to help an unknown person like that. Father, we cannot only think of ourselves. We cannot only think of our benefits. How can we not do anything to help those in need? God, I was wrong when I thought that I could teach you into a good businessman. You are so weak and stupid. I'm... I'm sorry, Father. That night, the merchant had a strange dream. Before leaving the house, clean your hands. To the first merchant you see, have your son follow him. It will definitely be profitable. That dream happened three nights in a row. Treating it as an omen, the merchant decided to follow what it said. He cleaned his hands and left the house. Just a moment later, he saw a garment merchant. Excuse me, which is the way to the market? Do you want to sell your goods there? Yes, sir. I have here very good cloths. It's still far from the market. Let's use my carriage. I'm also a merchant. Great. Follow him, son, and learn his way of business. Yes, father. You want to go to the market, don't you? Why do you head to the forest? Set aside the market. I want you to help me. You want me to help you? Help you with what? Follow me, and you will understand. Put this cloth on. We need to disguise ourselves to face the robbers. What? Are there robbers here? Don't worry. Just do as I say. I wonder if my father has told you or not. But he always thought that I was an idiot, a useless idiot. I just think that, that maybe I will mess up your business. Don't worry. My business only needs your bravery. You will get yourself a fortune. Then your father will consider you differently. Really? Are you sure? Believe me, you will not have to regret it. Boss, we just arrested two guys who wanted to steal from a mansion. How'd you know that? Boss, I heard their plan of stealing while I was on my watch. Listening to what they said to each other, it seems that the mansion they intend to steal is extremely rich. And the owner is away. We just need to ask them where this mansion is. Then we can get the fortune inside that mansion for ourselves. Good. But are you sure about that? I'm sure. Those thieves even considered bringing a cart to carry all the possessions and jewels. Don't worry, boss. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Take them here. Yes. Where do you plan to steal? Tell me the truth. Um, we were just passing by here. Don't tell lies. You think I'm a fool? Where are you going to steal? Confess the truth to me, and I will give you a share. Well, we dare not steal anything. We are honest people. Don't lie to me. You will die if you don't tell me about your plan. Yes, I will tell you everything. We knew there was a way to a treasure on the other side of the mountain. Is this the mansion? Open it. Haha, <laughs> very good. We will be the owner of the treasure. Run when I make the sign. Run! Ah! What happened? So, the robbers who harm me are now punished. The robbers who harmed you, you are... I'm the remains that you bought with your money. This is the mansion I built to store my treasure. So, you're dead. Don't worry, I just want to say thanks. That day when I went by the forest, the robbers caught me and tied me up in an abandoned house. When people found me again, all that remained was just my bones. It's so lucky that you've buried me. 
When you see them take away my remains, you did not walk away, but you did deeply sympathize for my fate. You even spent all of the money which you're about to buy goods for your father to exchange for my peace. Thank you so much for everything. All the treasure in the storage, I give you to repay what you've done for me. Tell your father I'm the man who appeared in his dream. Eris told the whole story to his father. The merchant understood that doing a good deed is much more worthy and profitable than an immediate interest. 